Hey, well, just in time, Pepin, how are you guys doing today? <sighs> kind of cold out here in the garage. Uh, you know, we talk about all these things for when shit hits the fan. But what I really want to talk about this morning is, uh, you know, what's going to happen when uh, the grid goes down and, uh, uh, we talk about martial law and we talk about all these different things, but we don't talk about what's going to happen to people on medication or on legal medication or even illegal medications. Uh... Kind of a tough subject for anybody to really put their arms around, you know. So, just going to kind of throw it out there and see what everybody wants to talk about. You guys can kind of leave something down below there in the comment section. and Whatever you guys believe. But my belief is <clears throat> it's going to be pretty bad, you know. People don't understand that. Uh, when the grid goes down, there's not going to be too much uh, of anything left in the stores. Uh, it's going to take just a matter of hours and everybody will uh, ransack the stores completely dry. And that's not just your grocery stores or your chain outlets or anything like that. I'm talking about drug stores too, I mean... Uh, uh, the first couple of days or whatever will probably be okay, but as time goes on, uh, it's going to get pretty bad. I mean, just uh, you could just take me, for example, you know. I take uh, a lot of medications, you know, uh, just to keep me walking the straight and narrow every day. And it doesn't always work, but it does the best that it can. But without those... Uh, key uh, medications, I would be dead in the water. And I kind of expect I will be dead in the water if anything like that really happens. Uh, just nothing I can do about it, you know. I, I still take the precautions I should take, you know. I stash uh, extra medications whenever I can. But, you know, if you think about it, uh, I take a couple of inhalers for my COPD. And one of them, if I had to pay for it outright, would be something like uh, 500 bucks. And the other one is like 400 bucks. I take two of them. They're steroids that kind of keep my lungs functioning. So I try to get ahead on those, but <laughs> the government... <laughs> They really don't let you get uh, ahead, you know. What I, I kind of do is once in a while I fudge, you know, and uh, misplace some of my drugs once in a while. And uh, probably once a year, they'll uh, go ahead and allow me to go ahead and uh, get another one because I lost one or misplaced it or whatever, you know, because they want to make sure I'm taken care of. But if the grid goes down, it's not going to be like that, you know. I won't be able to uh, skinny around and do anything. I, I should probably be one of the ones that go and clear the prescription pharmaceuticals out, you know, and get what I need. But that's not me. I'm not an illegal type of person. And I know, excuse me, I know that uh, we're going to do a lot of things that we don't usually do uh now because we'll be forced to do other things that we didn't used to do now you know like forage from uh, houses and stuff like this you know but let's get back to what we're talking about because it's pretty lengthy uh so uh, the people that are on the drugs uh, are gonna start hurting pretty quickly you know and it's not going to be a pretty picture. Uh, how about people that uh, are, on a, are on a methadone program through the government? You know, if you know too much about it, once on methadone, you're always on methadone, pretty much. Uh, I mean, it takes a lot to get off of it, but yeah, but pretty much you're always on it. 
and then you've got your tweakers and stuff like that that uh, do it recreationally, do all those drugs rec rec recreationally, big word. <laughs> but, you know, we have to think about that. It's going to cause people to do things that they uh, normally wouldn't do, you know. And the best thing to do is try to stock up for the people that really need the drugs. Uh, the old people and uh, people that have uh, diseases and stuff, they should try to uh, stash drugs back and whenever possible uh, so that they can prolong, I guess, is the best way to put it. It's not a very uh, easy word to say, but... Excuse me, uh, so this is something that really bothers me, you know, because I have to go through it. I'm going to have to go through it. My son is healthy, thank God, and uh, but we all have family members that are on a lot of medications or we have other family members that are uh, uh, misusing drugs and whatnot, and they're all tweaking out and stuff. They do different drugs like cocaine and the methamphetamines and the meth and crystal meth and all that stuff and those folks are going to be uh down and out they're going to have to start going through withdrawals and stuff like that and that's not going to be very pretty to watch and not only that they're going to get desperate they're going to do things uh to get what they need that's just what they've always done and that's what they're going to continue to do you know those are the people that are probably going to be looting uh, pharmaceutical places and stuff. And I suppose there will be others that take uh, uh, advantage of the situation and rat hole a bunch of pharmaceuticals and stuff and they can use them to barter and stuff with. But these are all things that we have to think about because if uh, something terrible happens... Uh, heaven forbid, you know, uh, a nuclear attack on us or an EMP or some some out, uh, outside our realm type of thing happens, then what are we going to do about the people that are, I guess, uh, dependent on drugs to stay alive or dependent on drugs to keep from getting sick because they've allowed themselves to abuse drugs? And we all have some of those people somewhere in our lives. We either have them as a family member or we have them as a friend or something like that. So we all know what I'm talking about here, you know. I'm not uh, talking bull. So uh, these are things that we need to think about as, uh, as we go into situations you know you try to plan for stuff but you don't always gonna you're not always going to be able to uh be that far ahead prepared that's why i'm always looking for herbal ways to uh, help my uh, condition because i'm gonna if i'm not dead i'm gonna try to find a way to stay alive as long as i can and uh you know, I just don't know what what we as human beings should uh, practice. I mean, uh, the 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 old and the elderly and the sick are gonna die first, and it's gonna be it's not gonna be a very pretty picture. But what can we do until that happens? I mean, uh, what are you planning on doing for your family members? Uh, what are you going to do to protect your family when the uh, tweakers come to take your stuff so that they can uh, barter for illegal drugs still, you know? So that's kind of what's going through my head today is what if, you know? Uh... It's always it's always weighing somewhere on the back of my mind because of my illness, my own illness. So I think about it a lot. And the best thing that we can do, in my opinion, and uh, is to try to uh, as the word is put it back. You know, put it back and forget you have it. And it's like me, you know, I I fudge a little bit every year and I try to lose at least one each of my 
high-ended inhalers, but I take other drugs too, and I try to do the same with them, and I'm doing pretty good with those, is because I can skip day doses and stuff like that, and I don't get in too much trouble, but I can't skip a bunch of days in a row, so I kind of rat hole a pill here and a pill there, and uh, I've started building up uh, uh, a backlog for what I'm going to need if a big emergency happens, and so I'm just trying to uh, portray that forward, I guess, is if you have a loved one or a friend that has the same situation or is in a dire situation, maybe those people should be uh, thought of to try teach them, I guess, to do the same thing. Uh, heaven forbid that uh, uh, anything should happen to our family members, but it's going to happen. Uh, it's going to happen in a big numbers, too. Uh, the, the sick and the elderly are going to be the first to die, and it will go from there. You know, our children may go, and it's just hard to think about, but at the same time, you have to think about it if you want to protect your family. So the lesson for today is uh, what are you going to do when shit hits the fan and there's no more prescription drugs to ha be had? That's why I've done the videos and series on uh, herbal medicine is because we need to start thinking about those things. Uh, it's just sad. And that's the only word I can say. It's just sad that we have to think about these things, but if we don't think about them, then uh, you're going to be more sorry if you don't. So these are my thoughts of uh, it's going to be bad enough, you know, so I'm telling you what I would do or what we should do. What are your uh, suggestions? Put those in that comment box down there. What do you think that people should do to, uh, to help the sick and the elderly in times of SHTF? Uh, basically, only thing you do is try to save or try to uh, learn different things. But what are you going to do right now today? Are you going to start thinking about it more seriously? Or are you just going to blow me off and say, I don't have to worry about this right now. Well, you know what? Could happen later today or it could happen tomorrow or it could happen day after tomorrow. And every time you say, I don't have to worry about this right now. You're fooling yourself. That's what I got for you for today. That's the lesson for today. Uh, have a live feed coming up on Wednesday. If you guys want, we can talk about that again there. But for now, I'm kind of done with my time limit is up on my uh, video, so... I want you guys to leave some comments and tell me what your ideas are on what the world could do to uh, help the sick and the elderly. Okay, that's it. You guys know I love you. Thanks, it's getting a little warmer out, but it's trying to snow today, so I'm in the shop talking to y'all. Uh, I love you guys. God bless me. God bless you. God bless you as a bay. Thanks for watching.